Two former executives at a Swedish oil company have gone on trial in Stockholm. They are accused of complicity in war crimes committed by Sudan's regime between 1999 and 2003. Swede Iron London and Swiss national Alex Schneider are accused of asking Sudan's government to make its military responsible for security at the site of one of London oil's exploration fields, which later led to aerial bombings, killing of civilians and burning of entire villages, according to the prosecution. London was chief executive of the family firm London Oil, now known as Oran Energy, from 1998 to 2002, and Schneider was the vice president at the time. The trial is said to be the biggest in Swedish history, following an over a decade-long probe, a more than 80,000-page investigation report, and closing arguments scheduled for February 2026. The two, who were formally named as suspects in 2016, faced a formal charge of complicity in grave war crimes committed during the rule of Omar al-Bashir. Public prosecutor Henrik Atop said the perpetrators used tactics and weapons that neither distinguished between civilians and fighters, nor civilian property and military targets. Prosecutors claim they accused their complicit because London Oil had entered into an agreement with Sudan's government to make the military responsible for security, knowing it meant the military and allied militias would need to take control of areas by military force. Prosecutor Carolina Westlander told the court that London and Schneider had demanded that Sudan create conditions for oil operations in areas not controlled by the military or regime allied militias, knowing the military would need to perform offensive operations to do this. Uh, the accusations against us are false, they're completely false, and uh, they are very, also very vague. Uh, Sudan has suffered um, from internal conflicts for, for many, many years, but we never had anything to do with these conflicts. If convicted, London and Schneider risk life sentences. The prosecution has already requested that the two be banned from any business undertakings for 10 years. It has also asked for the confiscation of $218 million from Oron Energy, equivalent to the profits the company made on the sale of its Sudan operations in 2003. The defense has argued that the prosecution's case does not hold up.